Hey there, this is Nathan. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about my voiceover studio and equipment. So it's kind of a makeshift studio. Um, as you can see, there is like, there's clothes, um, there's like cushions that I like found on the side of the road, washed it, washed the cover, but um, it's, it really is more for dampening than it is for, um, I don't know, having like a completely like it's 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 sound cloaking for sure, not soundproofing. May not it may not be perfect, but it you know it does the trick for what I need. And um, this is my Stedman uh, metal pop filter. I don't have it on right now because I'm doing this YouTube video. Um, but this is my Rode NTG3. It's it served me well. Um, but I am thinking of upgrading either to the Sennheiser MKH416 or the Neumann. TLM 103. I'm thinking more um, going for the Sennheiser uh, 416 that route. Anyway, this this um, this pop fill. Sorry, this shock mount right here is a new thing that I just um, re recently purchased from Rycoat, and that is the INV um, MH INV7 MH3. Now, this particular one, I think they use it more maybe in the field. Say you have, um, say you have like those big like blimps on the end, like to hold the weight, this like is, is more sturdy. Um, so it's not like necessary for a voiceover studio. I just figured I knew it would like hold up, hold on to it well. It was like $10 extra. I got it for, I guess like around 70 bucks. Um, and um, it, it basically, it, so it, it, it isolates the microphone so that any bumps or um, certain vibrations, it won't affect it as much. Now, you may or may not hear this, but like, see how if I move, if I move the mic, it, it kind of, it, it's more flexible than if it was on like a normal, a normal holder. Um, this is like a lyre shape. You'll see how there's like a U and um, it's pretty neat actually how like it's it just it just isolates it really well there's a clip holder in the back um, where so like the XLR cable runs there holds it so that this is kind of like say this cord is say this cord is hit then this cord isn't really affected because the clip holds the cord in the middle there so that's, I mean, that's just like some of the basics of my studio. I'm sure there's more. I could talk about my software and other stuff like that, but that could be for a different video, a different day. So if you have any questions, just comment below, or you can um, go to sayingthings.com and contact me um, through my website. Uh, thanks so much.